Court Irv Gotti, co-founder of Murder, Inc. Records, faces serious allegations of sexual assault and rape from a woman identified as Jane Doe. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. The accuser claims she entered into a relationship with Gotti from 2020 to 2022, beginning after they met at a poker tournament through a mutual... Yo, 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 Michael T. Porter here. Welcome to Rooted in Music TV, where everything that we talk about, everything that we discuss is rooted in music. I got another bomb episode for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, subscribe button, and share button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping. If you'd like to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, Michael US. Also, check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video music lovers we need to talk irv Gotti, former murder inc record label ceo is accused of not keeping his hands to himself accused of putting his hand in the cookie jar lady said nope you ain't you can't have it and he said well i really don't care what you got to say about it i want it I got a video I want to play for y'all and I'll be right back with you to give you my opinion. Let's go. Court Irv Gotti, co-founder of Murder Inc. Records, faces serious allegations of sexual assault and rape from a woman identified as Jane Doe. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. The accuser claims she entered into a relationship with Gotti from 2020 to 2022, beginning after they met at a poker tournament through a mutual friend. According to the lawsuit filed by attorney Adriana, the woman alleges that Gotti raped her multiple times in Atlanta, Miami, St. Martin during the course of their relationship. The plaintiff claims that these actions led to severe emotional and psychological distress, requiring her hospitalization in a psychiatric ward. She also accuses Gotti of damaging her reputation in Los Angeles through slander. Gotti, known for his pivotal role in Murder, Inc. records during the late 90s and early 2000s, has not publicly responded to these allegations as of yet. NBA. Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this Rooted in Music TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. Now, this this, this story, as y'all heard in that video, Irv Gotti is wild with it, right? Irv Gotti, she, she said this happened a few times. And I'm like, God damn, bro. I don't know if it's true or not. Hopefully it's not true, but if it is, you know, Irv Gotti got to pay the piper. And this is why, you know, a lot of people think being famous is fun. A lot of people, I still think fame, it's just, you just got to move different, you know, but are you willing to sacrifice, sacrifice your, um, Your will to just hang around anybody. See, when you're a nobody, you can hang around anybody. When you're somebody, you can't hang around everybody. If people know you got money, the most evil thoughts is going to come over that person's mind because they're going to try to get you, whether it's rob you, whether it's lie on you and said, and they're going to say that you SA them or you grape them. They're going to lie and say that you did this. They're going to try to get money out of you some way, somehow. And everywhere you go is paranoia. Whether you're making business deals, whether you're just out at the club, whether you're just out just, you know, doing your thing. People always trying to take a piece of you. You know what I mean? Just trying to get a piece of you. That's why you got to be stern. Like, nah, bro. No, my brother. If people want some money, no, my brother. You got to get your own. You got to get your own, my brother. You got to get it. I can't help you. So you just, you have to have that mentality. Girls coming at you for whatever reason, you know, you just have to move strategic. You no, know, you, you have to know that they don't want you for you. They want the lifestyle. 
they don't want you they want the lifestyle that you can potentially provide so you're just going to be strategic um i'm gonna be honest herb Gotti has really fallen off ever since uh that indictment with his brother though that rico case they got a rico case that rico ever since that rico case and they did their little time and him and his brother um they were into all kind of criminal activity Ever since then, he's really just kind of fell up. He really has fallen off. You look at his drink champs. He just always look a little sweaty and tired. And he just looks uh, like he on that stuff. You know, when he smiled, it seemed like this fake. Like, his whole empire was just crushed. And then, you know, you got that nigga out there, 50 Cent. He's adding fuel to the fire. I mean, he will not let up off the gas on them niggas' asses. 50 Cent made sure to crush, you know... Any hope of Murder Inc. or the Inc. recovering. So Ja Rule now, he's doing a few shows now. You know, uh, 50 Cent's on to bigger and better things. He crushed Ja Rule. He crushed Murder Inc. He crushed all them guys. But, uh, you know, time goes on. You know, they're always going to be enemies. But 50 Cent doing his own thing. Ja Rule doing his own thing. Whenever, But whenever there's an opportunity to kick Murder Inc. or Irv Gotti or Ja Rule while they down or Irv Gotti's brother while they down. 50 Cent's gonna take that opportunity. He hate them niggas. So, but ever since that Rico case and then uh, talking about Ashanti and he was married and, you know, he had uh, Ashanti come out of her clothes to get a record deal and he wanted a relationship with Ashanti while married and, you know, this dude is like uh, a lot of these people that youngsters or fans look good too they got problems just like us a lot of problems i don't i ain't got them type of problem i ain't never uh took that cookie without that woman's permission i don't think i don't think uh they're in their 50s i don't think they're gonna come back i don't think i don't think they're gonna make a recovery from this i think uh this earth god in them boys pretty much done like except for jaru jaru and got a little buzz but as far as them being on top, like a top record label, like how they was in the early 2000s, I don't think so. But y'all flood my comments. Do y'all think this girl is lying on Irv Gotti or is she telling the truth? 250 capital G, Rooted the Music TV, I'm gone.